Hi everyone, Kathy here. I hope everyone is doing great. Um, happy Sunday, by the way. I wanted to share with you all a couple of hauls. Of, I have some from today. I'm going to do the one from Dollar Tree, Walmart, and I think it's Target. And then after that, I have one from um, Michael's and Hobby Lobby, I think. Yes, Michael's in Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to get started with the one from Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree, believe it or not, still has not put out too much Christmas stuff. They have some, but not a whole lot, which I'm surprised. I would think by now they'd have it out, but they don't. So I'm going to show you what I picked up, just a couple things. Now, I did pick up two more of these. I know, um, I think in my last haul, I had shown that I had picked up the snowman and also the Santa I think this is the same thing. Yes. So I picked up two more because these are really, really cute. I mean, they're very detailed. They look very nice. And I'm not sure. I think these are supposed to be wreath decoration kits, but I have other plans for them. So I got another snowman and another Santa. I actually like the snowman better than the Santa, but that's okay. So I did pick up another one, one of each of these. Let's see where I could put this stuff without it falling down. Let's put it up here. Sorry about that for reaching. And then I did pick up this. They didn't have hardly any of their ornaments out. But I did pick up this one because I am working on a project where I need one of these. This one's kind of bent. Let's see if I can bend it back. But this one is really pretty. It's kind of scraped up too, but this is probably a last year one. So I picked up this one. I did pick up this one specifically. Like I said, I have a project that I'm going to do with that one. They did have these little gingerbread kits. I only picked up one because I do have some others that I'm working on. But I thought these would be cute maybe for like the little add-on pieces and stuff like that. Because I know these little kits, they're, the felt is really, really thin. And it doesn't hold up. But I thought the little pieces were would be good. So I picked that one up. And I just got the one. They had a bunch of them. I didn't I didn't get them. And then I did get a pack of these. I love these with the peppermints on the bottom. So I did get one of those. And believe it or not, I think they only had like three left. And I asked the guy, I said, did you already put these out or these last year's? He says, no, we already put them out. He says, those always go really fast. So if you're looking for these, you better pick them up. Because from what I understand from him, they... Don't last very long. And then as far as Christmas stuff, the only other thing I picked up was this here. It's called Icicle Fringe. And it's pretty long. It's, let's see, 48 inches. Can you see it good with the glare? So I thought that was pretty cool. So I picked that up. And then that is all of the Christmas stuff that I picked up. Like I said, they really didn't have that much Christmas. So um, I was kind of bummed about it. But And then I did pick up three of these. And these I am going to alter. These are going to be for friends of mine for Christmas. And it's these little, these little planner books for the year. They're really cute too. They have a lot of information in them and everything. So... I, I wasn't worried too much about what the, the cover was because I'm going to go ahead and alter these a little bit. So I got that one. And I noticed they're up to $150 now. I don't know if anybody else has noticed it, but now it's not $125. It's $150. So watch it. So, and then I got this one, which that one's kind of actually pretty. Yeah, I noticed that. I told the guy, so is everything $150 now? He says, yeah, it's going up again too. So here's this one. So kind of watch yours because they're they're raising prices again. They were, you know, one dollar, then they're 125, now they're 150. And he said that they're going up again. So that's all I picked up from Dollar Tree. I, I was really surprised too. Oh no, I did pick up one more thing. Let me I have to go get it though. Hold on a second. One second. Let me go get it. Hold on. Okay. So I picked up this here. Now this was a five dollar item. But look how cute it is. And look how, how cute you it even has crackle noises. Look. Can you see it? Can you hear the crackle? Can you hear the crackle noises? I don't know if you can hear it or not. Isn't that cute though? So I thought that was really cute. I mean, 
five bucks, you know? You, can you hear the crackle noises? It's really cool. So I picked up that. So I thought that was really cute. My daughter was like, Mom, you got that at Dollar Tree? I said, yeah, but you know, what's a dollar? So if you see these, the guy, the guy when I was checking out the, the owner guy um, or the manager, he says to me, oh, where did you find that? I said, over there in the $5 stuff. He says, I got to get one of those. I said, there's only three left. He goes, I'm going right now. So he stopped and he went and got one and put it behind the counter, which was really funny. But... Oops. Okay, so now I'm going to show you some of the things that I picked up from um, Target. They didn't really, again, they, I don't know, they didn't have that much out. I mean, I know it's, it's you know, it's really not that close yet, but so I'm going to put that down there. So they had these, and these were all a dollar, and they look like glass. Look how cute these are. They stand up. Look, that's one of the reindeers there. And then here's another one. Look how cute these are. Aren't they cute? Look how pretty these are. So I got two reindeers. And then look at these bows. Hold on, let me see if I can untangle it. Look at the bows. Aren't those pretty? These were all a dollar. All of these, all these ones I'm gonna show you now were all a dollar. So look how pretty that is. So I got two bows. I was going to get more, but, you know, I'm not going to do that. And then look how beautiful the snowflakes are. Isn't that pretty? For a dollar, that's really great. Now, Walmart, I mean Walmart, Dollar Tree going to $1.50, they better up the quality of their stuff. I'm just saying. Because if you're going to pay a dollar fifty, a dollar fifty, when you used to pay a dollar and the quality wasn't that good, but you were able to do it because it was only a dollar, now a dollar fifty, I think you need to step it up. So that's all I picked up from um, Target. Of course, my daughter bought a bunch of stuff, but nothing to do with that. So these are called iridescent ornaments, and they're in the um, bullseye playground, whatever it's called. So, but they're very delicate, so you got to be careful. Watch me break one. <laughs> I'm known for dropping everything. I don't know what the deal is. So that is the only thing that I picked up from um, Target. But those are so beautiful. Oops, see, I, I told you, I almost did it again. And then I went to um, Walmart. Let me see if I can get this without dropping it. Oh, boy. Okay. So at Walmart, they had some cute stuff too. Let me move this out of the way before I drop it. So I know, well, let me start with this one. Look how cute this, look at this Santa. Isn't he cute? And he was, well, he was $3.98, but I don't care because he was cute. Look how cute he is. And he's big. He's like, I don't know how, how big he is. Let's see if we can see. Where's my ruler? I had my ruler out here earlier and I don't know what I did with it. Um... I'm sitting at the table. I'm working on some um, Etsy projects. I don't know where the ruler is. Let's see. Anyway, he's he's pretty big. I mean, this is my hand, and you see how much bigger he is. So I thought for $3.98, he was pretty nice. So I picked him up. I, and even if it wasn't very nice or whatever, I wanted him, and I picked him up. So that's that's the way I do it. And then I, I know I complained about this on the last video because I thought these were candy canes but I bought another one because I'm making a wreath and these are going to be perfect side by side so I did pick up another one even though I complained and thought it was um it's a dollar 98 um I thought it was candy canes but it's okay because these are perfect for the wreath so I picked up another one and I have to stop complaining and then I did pick up one of these um trees which was $1.25. Wait, is this from Walmart? No, I think this is from um, Dollar Tree. Look, this says $1.25. I must have stuck it in this bag accidentally. But anyway, so um, I need this for a, um, I'm making a shadow box and I need that. So I don't know why that's in that bag, but okay, let's put it over here. All right, let's go forward. And then, um, this, these are from Walmart. Look how cute these little lanterns are. Aren't they cute? These were $2.48, which is a little, 
hey, this has three pieces. There's oh, here's one. I was gonna say I got ripped off for. Look how cute they are, though. Aren't they cute? They're very detailed. Look. I thought those were very cute. They have them in black too, but I wanted the red ones. So I got that. And then I got these right here. I love these bells. Look at these bells. And you get like four pieces in here. And these are $248. Let's move this one. Why is this one up like that? That's weird. So those are the bells. Um Look how cute this Santa is. He was also $1.98. His eyes are a lot, little weird though. His eyes, he looks like he has like dark shadows under his eyes, but so do I. So <laughs> I guess we look the same. <laughs> but look how cute. He's he's dressed like, like in a real furry little outfit and everything. I thought he was really cute other than his eyes. And then I got this right here. Look how cute this is with the little trees. This was also a dollar ninety-eight. It's like a plastic. Last year I think they were metal, but this year they're plastic. Maybe that a sign of the times. And then I did get another one of these. I had purchased one of these the last time I was there. I got another one because I decided I needed one. This was a dollar ninety-eight. And then I got these. Look how cute these are. Are these not adorable? These were two forty-eight. Let's see. I'll move this over. Aren't those cute? It says cookies, peppermint, candy cane, hot cocoa. There's, those are really, really cute. I really like those. And then, so I could stop complaining to myself, I bought these candy canes. <laughs> I needed some candy canes and I thought those big ones were candy canes. I'm not even going to lie. So ever since then, I've been like, I need some candy canes. So I got these. They're kind of small. I'm looking for some bigger ones. But for right now, these will work for what I need them for. Because I do need some candy canes for a project I'm working on. So that is my Walmart haul. And that is it for that. Um, like I said, I do have a haul from Hobby Lobby and... Um, a paper haul from Michael's, which I should have not gone over there. I'm not even going to lie. I should have not gone over there. I don't need paper. And I think I bought everything that they had. That's all I'm going to say. Because, I don't know. I was feeling some type of way that day. And I wanted to go shopping. And I went shopping. And you should never go shopping when you're feeling some type of way. I'm just saying. Because you do crazy things. And then you come home and you say, why did I buy this? That's just the way it is. So that is my haul. Now, I did want to show you something really cute. I bought this die. Let's see. Where is the die now? Um, I will link it below. But I bought a die where you can make... Let me take this one. Um, you can make a little calendar for every month of the year. It comes with all the different little parts. Now, you have to have patience because the pieces are very, very tiny and you really need a tweezer to work on it. But here's my October one. Look how cute it is. Isn't it cute? So I'm getting ready to make my November one, which I should have done already. And then I'm going to make, I'm also going to do the uh, December one while I'm there. But it comes with all the pieces you see here. And now all the pieces, they're really, really tiny, especially when you get down here to the dates. And, um, but I will show you the, I thought I had it right here. Wait, I might have it right here, actually. Yes, I do. Okay, this is it right here. It's called the calendar die set. And it's, I think it was from, um, I have to look back, but I think it's from Chaos Craft, if I'm not mistaken. But it might not be, so don't hold me to it. But I'm going to show you all the pieces, and I'm going to show you how tiny they are. So here's some of the calendar pieces. And then here's the little grid to make the, for the numbers. And then here's your days of the week. And here's your little banner for the top for the, for the month that you're working on. And then these are the little tiny numbers and you have to cut them over and over and over because you need lots of zeros and other numbers. So that's just an FYI. You got to cut those a lot. Now it does come with all these other little pieces that if you want to put on there like little flowers and 
arrows and little words and stuff like that. But um, I didn't put those on mine. I wanted my little calendar just to be a regular, like, little calendar. And you can't tell, but it, it's all, it's made with glitter and everything. So it came out really cute. Now, another thing, I did pop it up. But if you're going to do a calendar like this, I would do the base a different color than the actual calendar part. That way it'll stand out a little more. But the numbers is what is the kicker because you see how thin they are. And you definitely have to use a tweezer to do it because it's really, really hard. You cannot just hang on to it because you have to use a tweezer because it's so little. But isn't that cute? I love the calendar. So I'm going to make a, a, a November one and a December one. And I'll show them to you when I do. But they take some time to do. You have to have patience. Because if you don't have patience, this is not for you. I can tell you that right now. And the other thing is, for the numbers, because they're so small, use, um, like, not sticker paper. Yeah, use, like, sticker paper so you don't have to try to put glue. That's just another little tip. Because I had to hold it, put glue on it. Uh, yeah, I was a mess. So, um, thank God when it dried, it looks really nice, but, um, the easiest thing to do is use like sticker paper or, you know, paper that already has like sticky on the back or something so that you could just put it on there. But it really is a, it's a cute dye. I think it's a cute dye, especially if you're doing like journals or anything like that. And you want to put one for each month or something like that, that would be really cute, but you have to have patience. If you don't have patience, when I tell you, don't even, don't even buy it. Because if you don't have patience, you'll never get through the first one. <laughs> I have a lot of patience and I questioned it. That's all I'm going to say. But on the other hand, it comes out really cute. And, um, you know, that's what I can say. It comes out really cute. I like it. But, yeah. So some of these dyes... You know, when you see them, like when you're searching for dyes or whatever, and you see some and you think, oh my God, that's the cutest dye ever. But you don't realize how many little pieces come with those. Yeah. Some of these dyes have like a million pieces. And then I w there was another one I was going to show you here. I think I already took that one to the room because it was a, um, it was a, um, It was a Halloween one, but I'll show it to you later uh, on the next haul. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you for always watching my, my channel. And um, please help me get to 3,000. We're almost there. We're almost there. And I, I say this all the time, but as soon as we reach 3,000, I'm going to have a really, really big um, giveaway. So, you know, help me get to 3,000. I really would appreciate that. Oh, look, wait, before I leave, let me show you something. This is the dye I was telling you about. Look how cute this is. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. So I did a, I did a bunch of cards that I sent out to some friends in that with this. Because they know that, you know, I, I have three dogs and a cat. And uh, they know I'm a dog person and a cat person. My cat is really sweet. Um... So look how cute, isn't that cute? Now this one was easy to make. I'm not gonna lie, this one was, you know, one, two, three, you cut out the pieces and you put them together. You know, all the pieces are there. All you gotta do is put them together. So I thought this was really, really cute. So I just wanted to show you that. That's the one that I was looking for, the dye, so I could show it to you that I said it's a Halloween dye. That one, that's really cute. That's worth it. So, and this one, you don't have to have a lot of patience. It goes real, together real easy. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm gonna stop running my trap and um you know again thank you for watching my channel please help me get to 3000 i really would appreciate it and when i do i'm gonna have a big giveaway so that's it for now thank you for watching bye for now